the Australian Alps are blessed with no fewer than 12 world-class ski resorts and dozens of great places to stay on and off the snow. Once you've made the decision to have a snow holiday, your next step is to decide where. Choosing a resort when you're a first-timer can be a bit daunting, so start by asking your family and friends for advice, then check out their suggestions online. All the resorts have websites and, as you'll soon discover, they all offer a variety of great terrain. Perisher Blue, which actually incorporates four resorts, has over 1,245 hectares of skiable area. I'm not sure how a mathematician might calculate its worth, but in skiers' terms, that's a heck of a lot of turns. Equally important to the ski experience when choosing your snow destination is the Upray Ski and the type of atmosphere that will suit your family or travelling companions. A few places are real party towns, others more laid back and kid friendly. And some, like Falls Creek in Victoria, are big enough to accommodate both. There are heaps of great places to stay in the village here, like Pretty Valley. It has plenty of typical motel-style rooms, but recently added the stylish Ropers Apartments. Perfect if you're holidaying with friends or fancy doing a little home entertaining in the evenings. There's a great playground and floodlit tobogganing area for the kids and plenty of places for grown-ups to let off a little steam. The Cock and Bull has a real English pub feel, while the Astra Vodka Bar offers the ultimate cosmopolitan entertainment, a trip around the world, well, at least for your taste buds, from the comfort of your bar stool. Many hotels throughout the Alps offer all-inclusive winter packages with meals, but there are also plenty of restaurants to choose from if you prefer to be more flexible. The whole Upray ski scene is a big part of the on-mountain resort experience. But there's also a lot going for the off-mountain atmosphere as well, especially if your holiday interests are a little more varied. Lake Krakenbach Resort, bordering Kosciuszko National Park, has fishing, archery and bushwalking, even a day spa and a first-class restaurant overlooking the lake. Not to mention sumptuous apartments, five-star chalets, and a shuttle bus to ferry you to the Perisher Blue Ski Tube, which is all of 800 metres away. Summer is also a popular time to visit the Australian Alps, and many of the resorts, like this one at Mount Buller, become hubs for mountain biking and bushwalking enthusiasts. The hotels and chalets stay open for business, the restaurants keep serving up their best, and even some of the chairlifts continue to operate to give everyone easy access to those breathtaking views, which I'm sure you'll agree are just as spectacular in summer as they are when they're snow covered. There's plenty of everyday action to keep you busy across all of the resorts through summer and winter. But special events are a real feature of the Alps experience. Apart from a jam-packed program of downhill, cross-country and terrain park competition, the Snowy Mountains play host to all manner of adventure sport and mountain biking events in summer. And provide a fantastic natural amphitheatre for all kinds of music festivals. At the end of the day, the options for where to stay and play are exhaustive. So what's important to bear in mind is that ultimately, any choice you make will be a good one. For more information on the resorts and all the different options and packages they offer, just log on to the following websites.